Hey everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world electronics back again with my Arduino computer working on my fully automated solar-powered cryptocurrency mining farm which is going to be run by the Arduino the little Arduino microcontroller now what I'm done in a previous video is I set up a digital voltmeter which you know, I can't get to contrast in there for some reason let me see if I can get that contrast back on there better there we go I set up a digital voltmeter so I can read the input of a voltage which will be, in, be the battery bank right now I'm using 0 to 5 volts for experimenting and I add in another board over here because what I'm now doing is I've got two LED lights which are going to be used to simulate turning on and off a uh, cryptocurrency mining rig so what we're going to have is the blue I just turned them on for now I just set up the, uh, the, the sketch and just for now I've got them both on and what I'm going to have this do is when I adjust the voltage simulating the battery voltage as the voltage reaches a certain point it's going to trigger a pulse to turn on a transistor which will then temporarily connect the push button switch of a mining rig turning it on and the blue button is going to rep represent the pulse so I'm going to see a, a brief flash of the blue button turning on and off and then the green is going to stay on or stay off based on the status of the computer, the simulated computer at that time. So now I'm going to carry on with the computing or the programming to have them react as I desire based on the voltage of the simulated battery bank. So I don't know if you can see the voltage. There's a horrible glare in here. There we go the uh, voltmeter now I have set up the program so that as I adjust the voltage and you watch the green LED not the blue LED the green LED is currently off as the voltage reaches up to 4.25 which I happen to set in here that'll later be adjusted for a 12 volt battery bank watch that LED once I hit 4.25 volts cranking this up or higher then the we're going to simulate that's the battery voltage the uh, green LED kicks on to show that we just turned on a mining rig as simulated of course and then as we drop down below 3.10 it's just a voltage I chose for now for exper experimenting purposes we go down to 3.10 and it's going to turn off that voltage boom or turn off that computer so that mining rig just shut off um, simulated so I'm going to later hook that up to a transistor to a, a switch to on a computer and the blue now I have to set up that's going to actually indicate the um, the very brief pulse on the switch the green is just indicating that the computer's on or off so turn the voltage back up and our computer turns on. So now I've got to set that to pulse and this is just an indicator computer running or off and this is going to be now set up to pulse briefly showing that we're we're making that switch connection to turn on or off the computer as needed. So that's the next thing I'm going to set up here in my uh, sketch. This is my Linux machine and I'm having trouble getting it to show text on the Arduino very well. Uh, it's better at home on the big 40 inch monitor but I'm working on it. I'm trying to get this figured out. Anyway I can see it. Whoops. Touch screen. I can see it barely but it works. You know I can get the programming done. So I'm going to work on that blue LED so we get a little brief pulse then. Um, by the way I'm making this up as I go along. I haven't found anything like what I'm doing anywhere in the internet after researching for months. Um, now I, I have to say it doesn't mean it's never been done, 
but I've never seen anything like what I'm doing, so I have to make it up on my own as I go along. So I've seen digital voltmeters before, and I didn't look into detail, but I've seen that people have used an Arduino to turn a computer on and off before, but that did not interest me because they were doing it through their cell phone remotely. I don't want to do that. I want this to be fully automated. So I'm making the code and I'm making the hardware myself as I go along. And when this works, I'll probably open source this and release it to the public so you guys can do the same thing. So you guys can watch for that. Okay guys, I've been working on my little program and I've got it. So now the LEDs re respond as they should. The blue simulates the computer on off switch and the green is just the status of a, s a single mining rig at this moment. So the blue, when the voltage reaches a certain point, we want to um, say the sun is shining on solar panels, the battery voltage is increasing. Once the voltage hits a certain point, we want to turn on a mining rig. And when the voltage falls below a certain point, clouds pass over, rain, or it's nighttime, we want to turn off the mining rig. So right now we're dealing with one, and the green light is showing the status of a single mining rig, which we're saying is on right now. The voltage is above our set voltage, and everything is good. As the voltage falls closer to 3.10, I'm going to dial this down and get us close. As the voltage falls, the uh, there is a shadow on the panels, or it's getting nighttime. All right, we're getting close to the trigger point. Um, battery voltage is declining. Now watch this blue LED. It's going to trigger once we hit the th threshold low end voltage. That's going to trigger and pulse for. I've got it delaying for one second for a visual, so we can see it. Later, it's going to be a half a second or less for for the actual real computer work. But right now I've got it set for visual, so watch that blue LED, it's going to pulse for one second, and then the green LED is going to shut off, simulating that the computer is shutting down. So here we go, we're going to hit that trigger voltage right about now, watch that, and the computer's off. The blue LED came on for a second, momentary contact on your computer switch, computer goes into power down mode, green LED is off, showing that computer's off. Now, next morning, sun comes up, batteries start to rise in voltage. Now there's going to be some tweaking and adjusting. This is just a very rough setup here. Alright, we start to hit 4.2. What did I put on here? Oh, uh, 4.25 volts. Once we start to hit, because I'm working with a 5 volt system. Alright, watch, I'm going to get up there to the threshold. Now that blue is going to come on, simulating a power on, and then the green is going to turn on, showing that the computer has turned on. Watch that blue LED, one second, momentary contact, turns on the computer, and it disconnects. And then the uh, green LED stays on, showing that the computer is running. And that I can play with all day long, up, down, up, down, up, down. It, this functions now, this is perfectly capable of turning on and off a computer, based on the input voltage. Turn it back on down and it's going to shut off the computer for the night. Turn it all the way back up and it's going to turn on the computer for the day. And I can play with this all day long. And it stays on or off based on the last state until that voltage hits the threshold and triggers the next state. Boom. Shuts off the computer for the night. So there we have it guys. Let's turn on our computer because I like a happy on condition. Yep, turns on the computer for the day. Well guys, there it is so far. Now the next step will be to put transistors in here to actually trigger a computer to turn on or off based on on this status. I'm also going to add more computers on here. I want to be able to control up to at least five computers at a time but for that I'm going to need to add more digital I.O. pins on my little Arduino because we've got a lot of them here being used up to run the display 
And that doesn't leave us a whole lot for IO pins for the uh, or of the IO pins to show the LEDs to turn them on and off. Now I'm probably going to run a transistor, leave these use the LEDs, and have the transistor parallel with that. So we'll see. We'll have a visual when it's turning on, and we'll have the status indicator. Um, but I'm going to have to put a shift register in here so I can add more outputs and that'll be another project for another day but for now we do have the ability in a simulated mode to turn on and off a computer based on the, uh, the input voltage at that time so we'll be adding to this next in the next video so stay tuned and please like subscribe and share hit that bell icon to get notifications of updates this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world of electronics another cool project Talk to you all later.